It is no secret that the pandemic is decimating many businesses around the city, state and country. But for one downtown Indianapolis restaurant, that's not the case. Yes. WRTV's Cameron Riddle shares that business owner's secret to survival and how he says you can make a difference. It's the most amazing crab legs in Indianapolis. In the middle of a pandemic, appreciation from customers is music to a business owner's ears. Look at this. Look, look at this bag of butter. Look, look at my fingers, brother. It says it, says it all right here. Paolo Mendez is the general manager of Crab 99, which sits just off the circle in downtown Indy. The Cajun seafood restaurant, formerly known as The Boiling, relaunched and moved into a bigger space just three months before the pandemic derailed downtown life. Last March, this COVID thing happened. Yes, our sales went slow. But I think we are one of the luckiest restaurants here in uh, Indianapolis that we're still alive and kicking. As the list of now out-of-business restaurants grows downtown, Crab 99 is a success story. Oh, wow. Mendez says the restaurant has survived the pandemic mainly because of their loyal customers who say the restaurant has become a getaway from the darkness of 2020. Cameron, it gets me away from everything that's going on in the world. When you walk in this door, they give you an experience. While customers say they like what happens inside, Mendez says there's no ignoring what is happening on the streets, which have become home to protests and on one weekend, riots. Mendez believes the weekend of riots had a harder impact than the pandemic. It more scary the, the riot days, <laughs> yeah because it's really, very, really totally shut down. Mendez says through the COVID and protest shutdowns, the business has not needed financial help, in part thanks to the landlord lowering rent, but even more due to loyal customers who literally kept the lights on. Mendez is now calling on the residents of the city of Indianapolis to do the same for other businesses and help save downtown. Especially your favorite restaurants, you have to go back there and at least order some food uh, to go to let the restaurant survive. Cameron Ruddle, WRTV.